Hey guys, this is Tori Cushing with Authority Labs, and today I'm just going to walk you through three quick tips and tricks that will help your browsing through the tool become really more efficient. Okay, so let's get started with importing domains. Um, we're in the main dashboard right now, and I'm just going to go over into the left-hand toolbar and click on Add Domain. I'm not sure if you knew this, but you can add multiple domains at once. I know that a lot of people just add one or two at a time, but you can actually add multiple ones by just putting them on separate lines. So what I did is I pulled in the domains that I wanted to track um, from a group and put them in an Excel document, and then I'm just going to copy and paste them into Authority Labs. Okay, so here's my list of domains that I want to bring in. Obviously, I'm trying to research different swing dancing domains and trying to take a look at my competitors. So what I'm going to do is I still have these HTTP and these slashes in my domains, and I'd like to get rid of those. So what I'm going to do is just hit Control F. I'm going to go to the replace option in here. And I'm going to find the HTTP, HTTP, S in the backslashes, and I'm just going to replace with nothing. So you don't have to put anything in there. I'm going to replace all of those. And I'm going to replace the ones without the S's. And then the final slashes. Okay, all done. That way you get some nice clean domains in there. Now, if they have the www, I'm going to leave that in there because that's the way they set up their domain. And if not, then I'll just leave it like that. So what I'm going to do is just copy with control C and paste it into Authority Labs. Now, it automatically goes to each of the different lines from what you can see in my Excel document. And I'm just going to make sure that there's not an extra line down here. Okay, so now that I have my domains all set up in here, um, I'm going to leave all the display engines on because... I like to have that option in there. Usually I end up just exporting Google's data, but it's good to have the option. Um, when I am importing multiple domains that are in the same group, uh, as in these are all under Swing Dancing, I like to add them to a domain group. So I'm going to select the one called Swing and hit Track Domains. So now you see that the 14 domains were successfully created. Okay, so now that I'm back in the Domains dashboard, I'm going to click on one of these domains that I just added and add some keywords to it. Now the cool thing is that you have this option to add bulk amounts of keywords. Obviously there are no keywords in this domain because I just added it. But I'm going to go to the Add Keywords option in the left-hand corner. And instead of doing manual input where I have to actually put in each keyword on each line, and I can only do 25 of them, I'm going to select the Bulk Upload option. So in here there's this example of how to upload these using a CSV. And I'm going to download that example and open it up. Okay, so now that my sample CSV is open, I can see that there is a column for keywords and a column for tags. I'm going to leave the tags out for this example, but I'm just going to copy in my list of keywords and paste them into the keyword column. I'm going to leave the heading for the tags on there, but I'm just going to delete the tags, the example tags that were in there. So here you can see I have all the examples of the keywords that I like to import. After that, I'm just going to save as. This is a really important part because you need to save as a CSV. So it doesn't matter what you call it. I'm just going to do import. The important part is that it's saved as a CSV. Okay, so now that I've saved that file, I'm going to go back into Authority Labs and click the Choose File. Okay, so here you can see that it says Import CSV, which is what I named my file. And I'm just going to click the Add and Update Keywords. Okay, so now that the keyword import is queued, I can let that rest for a few hours, come back to it, and see all of the keywords that I just imported. Okay, so here I am under one of my domains, and the last little tip I'm going to show you guys are these little icons in the top right-hand corner. Now, I'm sure you all know that when you want to export all of your keyword data, you go over into the Exports option in the left-hand toolbar and select what you would like to export for one month, three months, six months, or just a custom range. But this is something that I like to do for just a specific date and kind of just get a snapshot of how my keywords are doing. So I'm going to switch this date to February 1st. And here I can go up into this little icon in the right-hand corner, 
and I can download this page as a PDF or a CSV or I can go in and edit the domain. But what I'd really like to draw attention to is downloading this page as a CSV. So once that happens, I can open up in Excel and I can see all the information that I would get from an export. So I can see my Google rankings, I can see where my keywords are at for each of these different domains in a quick snapshot. Now from here I can make some quick charts and graphs and it's just an easy way to see where you are with your different domains and keywords. Okay, so that's it for my little tips and tricks quick tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you.